everyone. I'm BCAN's Allie Ray, and today I am joined with the CEO and President of the Arts Commission, Mark Folk, with the latest approved funding for Lucas County artists, small arts, and cultural organizations. How will this immensely help the Toledo Arts? We knew we had to do something to help the, the broader community. There were, was relief funding uh, that was coming. Um, you know, if you think about uh, some of the early payroll protection program opportunities that came available. But if, I, if I'm a small organization and I maybe have two people there and I'm the director, I'm also the chief fundraiser, the chief grant writer, the chief program officer. Um, and it, it, you know, by the time I could get all of my information together to get in for that grant opportunity, the money was already gone. Um, you know, with larger uh, financial opportunities happening for uh, for-profit businesses, someone who functions as a, as a small business, as most artists do, didn't have, by the time they got the chance to get into those relief efforts, the money was already committed. Um, so we really, you know, as a local service agency, uh, saw our responsibility as having to lean in and try to find a way to help support those folks where the relief dollars hadn't yet gotten to. With those relief dollars being distributed throughout Toledo and carefully for each artist to make sure that there is enough to go around, what would you like for the public to know? You know, we had been doing some research as this process had been taking place and what we saw uh, was about 60% of our local artist population beginning to slip into poverty through the pandemic. In an average year in Lucas County, uh, individual artists generate about $17 million worth of economic impact. So it's really a big part of our economic um, structure. We began the uh, conversation with the mayor's office and the county commissioners looking to uh, create a, a relief system. But through conversation with the county commissioners, the mayor and city council, we were able to gain approval um, to put together a pool of funding uh, to help support uh, this community. And I, I just have to give all the credit in the world to our elected officials. It ended with unanimous support. So by uh, December 18th, we were able to set up this grant opportunity. And as of this morning, we're announcing $425,000 in grant relief to go to 14 of our smaller arts and cultural organizations and 190 local artists uh, located throughout Lucas County, which it's going to be really profound and it, it, the timing is um, so important, but it's really important to support our local artists and, you know, commission them in this time. Buy a work if you can. Commissioning someone to, if you're in an organization, a performing artist to uh, give a performance to open up your Zoom meeting and order a poet to kind of lead off those things because we're going to need our uh, our artistic community to be there for us when we come out of this. We're gonna want our artists uh, to be available to help us celebrate life. In order to do that, we need to invest in them now.